Hello, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another room light tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we'll be going over resource packs and showing you what resource packs are and how you can obtain them and use them on your own RuneLite client. So first of all, we want to go ahead and go into our plugins. I'm pretty sure this plugin is actually in the uh, plugin hub. So if we just go ahead and type in resource in the plugin hub, it should come up here and it does indeed. All you have to do is install resource packs. It is by someone called Melky. So all you've got to do from here is just go and type in resource packs again click it on because if you turn it off this is what you will load up with and then again if we go ahead and turn it on you'll see we got another icon down here we have also got a few settings in here but we have not used any of these settings so i'd leave all these settings alone and now let's go ahead and look for some resource packs now we're in the actual resource packs hub we, if we go ahead and just put this back to default, uh, this is what you're going to be welcomed with. Now you've got a lot of options to choose from and it is very simple to actually go ahead and install one of these and use it as your base game. So let's just go ahead and just scroll through here and we will just look at a couple of them. Let's go ahead and just take out this brown theme plugin here. So let's click on the install button and it should automatically place it over your game and it does indeed. Let's go and add dragon frame. We'll just go and install that. And then we'll take one more. Let's go and install pink light. Why not? Let's go ahead and just install pink light. And then if we go ahead and go back to the top. So if we go to the selected pack here, this is where all of your installed resource packs are. And then you can just go ahead and just see which ones you want. Like for me, this is pink light. I don't use this. So we'll go ahead and uninstall this eventually. First we've got dragon frame and we also got brown theme, which again, they're not really too great in my opinion. I much prefer a plugin called dark vanilla. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and uninstall a resource pack now, all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom. This will show you all of the resource packs that you have installed. And this is pretty much how you just get rid of them. Let's just go ahead and just get rid of the pink light one because we're not going to use that. Um, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the brown theme one as well. And then just for the purpose of this video, we'll go ahead and get rid of the dark vanilla. Okay, it'll just take it off your screen. So if we just click remove, it'll then put it back to default. Then all you've got to do is just go back and select the resource pack that you want. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to remove all of that. And now we're going to go ahead and search for dark vanilla with our search bar here. So if we go ahead and just type in dark, and then it'll come up with every single resource pack that has the keyword dark in it. But obviously we want dark vanilla. So like normally, you just click on install and it'll just pop it over your normal display. And that is pretty much all you have to do with these resource packs. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. And if you have enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe. It will help the channel grow. Let me know some more rune like tutorials you'd like me to cover in the future. Let me know if this tutorial was useful for you as well. But I've been Ben. I hope you guys have all enjoyed nevertheless. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye. If you guys are looking around for your newest game, make sure to check out cdkeys.com because they have the cheapest CD keys available on the internet for pretty much every game, even new releases. I'll drop a link down below if you guys want to check them out.